Hi, welcome to Quick Chop, and I'm your host, Eric Lichwager. Today we're doing a, uh, a saute, simple saute of fresh ling cod. Stay tuned and hope you enjoy the recipe. Quick Chop is provided by Mission Grocery Outlet in San Francisco. Um, so, you know, sometimes when I'm thinking of the recipes that I want to create for this show or even at home, um, I really don't know what it is that I want to make. I maybe have a general idea, but a lot of that is dictated by what's available. What, what am I looking for when I go to the store? So I'm the kind of person I like to go to the store a lot. Um, I'm in grocery stores all the time and I'll take a look and I'll see what, what's my fishmonger got? What does, what's, what's looking good for beef? Today, you know, I, I looked at everything they had and these fillets of lingcod were fresh from New Zealand, um, not previously frozen, and I always kind of tend to go for that. So it, it looked great and I was like, okay, that's it. That's what I'm going to build on. So, you know, it's always getting that center plate item selected in my recipe first, and then it's really just sort of formulating the menu as I go along from that point, you know, what's going to go with this. Um, so today, uh, nothing special. It's really simple. It's a it's a delicate fish, uh, ling cod. Uh, it's you know it's a really long fish, and uh, fillets out very nicely in even portions. So what we're going to do is we're going to fillet this just with in a in a uh, good solid pan. I've I've got this already warming up here. It's um, it's it's got a, a thick cord bottom. Um, that way, when I'm sautéing something, I've got good distribution of heat. Um, if you use these really thin types of pans, or let's say you're using something like this, like a griddle, if it's fairly thin, what's going to happen is you get hot spots on the pan, and you're not going to get even cooking throughout that. Um, maybe it's good for pancakes, but not what we're doing today. Um, so what I've done here is I've got that pan on there and I've got it at the lowest possible heat setting while I'm preparing. So I'm not going to overheat the pan, it's too low. But what I am doing is I'm getting the core of that pan really nice and warmed up. So when I go to put in my ingredients, it's going to hit the pan and everything's just at the right temperature. Um, not a whole lot of prep here for this. We're just going to add a little bit of salt on there. Remember, we just salt on high. Just let it kind of rain down on there, not too much. Uh, put, add some pepper here. We'll wait till we get that in the pan. And we're going to have some chopped green onions in there as well. And I'll get those cut up here in a second. Um, now, in my mind, sometimes what I'm thinking is, okay, how do I want to finish this? How do I want it to look on the plate? What am I, what's my presentation? I have a picture in my head. Um, well, I've got the green onions, I got some contrasts. I'm gonna have some green colors on there, which is important for me. If you've watched my show, you know I'm always looking for contrasting colors because I think that way it makes it just a little more appealing. But then, am I gonna wanna sauce it? If so, how do I do that? Well, we could deglaze the pan with, uh, pan with some white wine and then create a little bit of a sauce and then kind of thicken it with some crumb fresh. So I may or may not do that, but we're going to see. I'm going to kind of let the cooking process kind of dictate to me where I'm going with it. So I think I'm ready. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the temperature on the pan up. And I don't want to sear it because I'm cooking with butter. I just want it hot. Um, if I can get a little browning on there, great. I would love it. So we'll just wait for that to come up. Um, for turning fish, I've got my baker's, baker's spatulas. I like these because they're going to be able to get in and bend and get underneath that piece of fish as, as I'm ready. Now, I'm just holding my hand there. I can tell what the temperature is. Maybe our trick here, we can also check our temperature by putting just a droplet of water in the center of that pan and watching that reaction. And it's bubbling off nicely, which tells me the pan's 
at the good temperature. Wait for all that to be gone, and then I'm just gonna add some butter in there. Now see, it's not scorching, which is what I want. I want it to melt and start to clear, but not burn. Now, presentation side down first, which is the top. That's the bottom. That's gonna, that's plate, that's facing up towards the diner. That's facing down towards the plate. So I want that presentation side down first. And I'm just gonna kind of lay it in there gently. Hit it with a little more salt. Now, green onions will cook very quickly. I don't want them overpowering this dish, so I'm just gonna kinda add them in along the side there while the fish is cooking. If I put them in first, I probably would have overcooked the butter and the onions before the fish was ready. Touch of black pepper on that back side. Now I haven't added any wine because that would cause more of a steaming effect and I don't really want that. Uh, not yet. So now I'm just putting that spatula in underneath and now just gently turn it. So. Now you can see I've got a nice brown finish to that. My butter's starting to brown a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come in with a little bit of wine. And I'm just kinda, I'm not putting it on the fish. I'm just putting it around there. I've already got my nice browning going and I'm happy with that. So now it's really just a matter of letting the wine and butter now do its thing. A little bit of more cracked pepper on that top. So you could add a little bit of wine, as I was saying, or you could add even a little bit of stock just to keep that fluid in there. If you keep, the problem with that adding, continually adding wine is as that cooks down, it becomes very acidic. And if you're still not sure, you can always just put the lid on and just kind of steam cook it for that last couple of minutes and that will help make sure that you're cooked thoroughly through. Okay, so let's gently take that out. I'm just going to gather that up. So we can garnish that just a little bit. Probably one of the easiest ways to cook fish um, is it was just butter, a little bit of wine, some green onion, salt and pepper. A um, little bit of stock just because I, I wasn't happy with the fluid level. So just kind of keeping it nice and consistent coming out. So good browning. Uh, temperature is important on those pans. The pan you use, again, really important. Thick bottom pan is what you want to get that nice browning without searing it or browning it or burning your butter. Okay, so there you go. Sauteed ling cod, a great summer dish, and uh, hope you enjoyed watching Quick Shop. I'm your host, Eric Litchwater. We'll see you next time.